Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple color combination lock. Now, this video has been five days in the making, but I had a huge scare with my dog. You know, it's a lot to go through and it was very horrific and scary at the same time. But now, just telling you guys now, I'm not going to be making a video every single day until I know my uh, dog is absolutely fine. You won't be seeing a video every single day for me, but this video I have been wanting to make for quite some time now. So it's very simple. I have built one of these in the past before but it did stop working after title update 21 and then I had a few people asking me if I can rebuild another one so it's very simple all I have to do is set up the same color with right here and then my door will open up obviously if you build this you don't want to put your colors on the floor I just did this so I wouldn't forget it because guys right now I'm just worried about my dog and I cannot remember anything whatsoever so I have to get this over to light blue that is on dark blue so if I click my button right here as you see it switches over to light blue the door has not opened up yet because it has to be on every single one of these colors so the next one is going to be pink so i have to hit the button until it hits pink perfect there we go next one is green so i have to hit the button until we reach the green block so keep going until i have reached the green one there we have it and then last but not least is going to be purple so and as you heard uh, the door opened up so now we can go ahead and go into our secret door but i'm not going to worry about that that has nothing to do with the color combination lock and then of course if i just move one of these blocks out of the way it will reclose our door up now you can hook whatever you want to this you don't have to hook a jeb door to it uh the input's right over back here but let's go ahead and just look at the redstone really quickly here is all the redstone for it it's a very simple circuit all it is is a bunch of pistons pushing around blocks and then we have it set up so only the first block pushes over the blocks then the rest will just keep pushing them that is why it is so simple to build and then right here is your output to whatever input you want to put it into a door just whatever you really wanted to put it into over here it's just into a redstone lamp but let's go ahead and start building this thing also just a heads up guys before we get into the whole entire building process this doesn't have to be only four colors you can make this thing go up to 14 long but i don't know why you would want 14 different colors for your combination lock but this thing can be extended out all right guys so i'm going to show you how to build up to four right now but of course you could just extend it out it's very simple to extend it out but for four of them you are going to need a five by seven spacing and you're also going to have to dig down too now i'm only going to be giving you the resources for each individual one but the starting off amount of resources you're going to need are four pistons five redstone repeaters four redstone torches 13 redstone one button and one lever and then of course if you look by the pistons and everything every time you add on another combination you're going to need four more pistons and you're also going to need like about three more pieces of redstone i don't really want to go into it too much but it'll be all up there on the resource list and then we're also going to need some sort of transparent block such as glowstone glass and things like that all right guys so once you have gotten your five by seven spacing and you have dug down your two come to the bottom left hand corner and we're going to place a block down right here with a redstone torch coming off of the side of it Next up, right next to this block, we're going to place down four pieces of redstone. One, two, three, four. I'm making my combination four blocks long, but of course, if you want to make it longer, I'll show how to extend it out at the end. It's very, very simple. And then coming out of this redstone torch, we're going to place in three pieces of redstone. One, two, three. Place a repeater coming out of this redstone going this way on four ticks delay. Place a block in front of the repeater. Place a redstone torch on top of the block. And then place four blocks going this way. One, two, three, four, with redstone on top of every single block. Next up, we're going to place a block right above the redstone torch. A redstone torch to the side of the block coming in above that repeater. Place a block above the redstone torch. A redstone torch above the block. And then another block above this redstone torch as well. Next up, place a piece of redstone on top of the block. A block next to the redstone like this. And then come over four blocks from here. One, two two three four then coming out of this block right here we're going to place a repeater going this way on one tick delay and then place three pieces of redstone in front of this repeater one two three just like that then we're going to come over two more blocks from here one two place another piece of redstone here with a repeater coming out of it on four ticks delay place a block in front of your repeater and then come over four blocks one two three four and then place redstone above all of these blocks and that is going to be your entire redstone circuit so now what we're going to do is go ahead and place in our pistons so back here next to this row we're going to place pistons facing upwards then right up here we're going to place pistons facing inwards underneath this line just like this and then right off of this line we're going to place four pistons facing downwards for all of our combination then right here on the floor above this redstone, we're going to take out our block of choice. I'm just going to take out smooth sandstone, and we're going to place smooth sandstone right along all of these blocks right here. So one, two, three, four, and then place buttons along all four of these blocks. 
and then coming out of these blocks on this side we're going to place pistons right off of the blocks like this so when i click this button boom 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 and boom just like that and that's how the whole thing is working click the button it goes over up over and over and as you can see only the first one will go off but then all the other ones will go off because it doesn't matter all we have to do is worry about the first one extending and then the rest can extend it doesn't really matter same thing with every single one as you can see it'll extend that piston only and then every single piston will extend and so on and so forth so now all we have to do is just put in our colored wheel so i quickly went ahead and i pulled out nine different colors you can use wool if you want to as well wool's a lot easier to get your hands on but go ahead and pick out nine different colors of your choice and we're going to start off by doing the first piston so right off of this piston we're going to place down a block then place down a different color and then go ahead and place down another color like this now this is the only piston that, that should have a block in front of it every other piston should not have a block in front of it so next up right off of this redstone torch place in another color place in another color and of like i said do not place a block in front of any of the other pistons so we're going to do is come up one and then over one like this with our another color and then come over another color like this and then right above our block we can go ahead and place down another block right here and another one just like that so this one is the only piston that should have a block in front of it and the rest should have absolutely nothing in front of it now go ahead and just keep repeating your pattern so red orange yellow you can use whatever colors you want it really doesn't matter but now that we have our first one down it's much more simple to put in the rest of them so go ahead and just keep putting in every single one there we go and last but not least there we have it now what we're going to have to do is figure out what color you want your combination to be so now we're going to go ahead and put all of this away and go ahead and take out your glowstone you can use glowstone glass things like that that's another thing if you don't want to make it look like there's glowstone here as well you can just use normal blocks you don't have to use colors you can go ahead and use let's say you want to use stone grass uh cobblestone things like that these ones would actually be a lot better to use because you need to use a transparent block for this section so you know what you could do you can also use a staircase as well and that transparent block will make it so it can't pick up the signal and also no one will notice glowstone inside of a line of color so if you want to i'd highly recommend just building it out of normal blocks but the colored blocks do look a lot better so now you can go ahead and just keep flipping around your wheel until you figure out what color you want to use so let's say i want to use dark blue that's it They're right here is where our colors are going to be so let's say for the first one i want to use dark blue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swing back here break the block right across our dark blue block like this and place in a piece of glowstone like that so that's going to be my first combination now for my second combination let's go ahead and keep flipping it around and see what i want to use next so let's say i want to use um let's you know let's use a lime green for this one i'm going to go all the way around until i find my lime green block and there it is so I want to use a lime green for the next combination. So I'm going to swing back here and then the block right across from our lime green block is going to break it and place down our transparent block. Like I said, I'm going to be using a glowstone. You can use glass, just things that cannot pick up a redstone signal. And now let's see, what's the next one I want to use? I'm not going to use any of the same colors because that'd be kind of cheesy. So we're just going to keep going around until I find the right color. Uh, do I want to use yellow? No, I don't want to use yellow. Let's use, uh, let's use orange. I do like orange. Okay, so we use orange for this one. So all we have to do is break the block across from it and place down our piece of glowstone and then last but not least let's go ahead and just do one right away let's just do purple there it goes so i'm gonna break this block and place in my glowstone now we're gonna have to go in and go ahead and place in just a few more pieces of redstone in here and we'll be completely done so right in the middle of your wheel we're gonna place a line of blocks right here and then facing inwards towards your glowstone go ahead and place redstone repeaters then right behind our redstone repeaters place in more blocks and go ahead and place in some redstone dust behind all your repeaters then we're going to come over here to this side off the side of the block that has our redstone dust so now these repeaters are on forever next up swing to the other side right over here and right next to our glowstone we're going to place blocks down here and place redstone dust along all of these blocks and now right here is going to be your input if you hook anything to this it will turn it on it will turn it off it will do whatever you like so you know i'm just going to bring it right over here to the like this we're just going to bring it down right here i'm not going to do a door or anything like that if you want to build a jeb door jeb doors are very simple to build you can find an easy tutorial for them and you know i'm just going to hook up a redstone lamp for this let's go ahead and take out a redstone lamp right here and let's go ahead and just hook in two two redstone lamps like this so now this is my combination i already have my combination put in you're completely done guys you don't have to stick around anymore but uh if you place blocks like this right around your entire color and combination it looks a lot nicer i'm going to be using quartz for mine so boom there is our color combination lock and of course if i just move one of them the lights will come on because now our combination is locked because what happens is the repeaters can send power 
through our colored block they cannot send power through the glowstone so now it has power going through it and the combination is no longer working however if i swing this one all the way back to i forget the color it's orange <laughs> so if i swing this all the way back over to orange it's gonna take a little while but see there's the glowstone that's why i said it, it works a lot better if you use just normal blocks but we're gonna swing this right around over to uh, the orange so here we go let's go all the way around until we reach our orange there we have it and as you see uh, the redstone lamps went off because now there's a glowstone block in front of it and it cannot send power through the glowstone but there you guys have it that is it that's how you build the entire thing now i'm going to just show you how to extend it really fast in case you wanted to extend it but guys it is so easy to extend out so all you literally have to do to extend it out is just add in your pistons and your buttons so right here well i don't know why i broke that 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 did not have to be broken i actually need that there so let's say we want to place in another one here with a button and then we come down here and place a piston on this side so let me take out a piston real quick boom and then we're going to come over here and place another piston facing upwards and place a piece of redstone next to it then we're going to come up here and place another piston facing outwards like this with a block above it and another piece of redstone here. And the same thing over here, place a block with another piece of redstone and then a piston facing downwards. And there you guys have it. You just extended it out. When I click the button, it extends everything and will retract. Oh, I almost forgot. Nope, I didn't finish it yet. We got to come down under here, break this block and place in a piece of redstone. Now it is fully extended out. So if I click the button, boom, 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 boom. And there you have it. You just extended it out. And of course, all you have to do is the same thing, guys over and over again if so i'll just do it one more time if we place a piston facing this way facing this way facing this way like this not upwards there we go and another one here next up take out your blocks and just place redstone right along every single one of your pistons like this there we go place another one here and then of course over here we're gonna have to place in our button and then right underneath it place in another piece of redstone and there you guys have it you just extended it out a sixth time boom 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 and boom so there you guys have it that is how you build a simple color combination lock if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace